Come, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Everybody, good evening, everyone. Your time has come. My time has come. Christ is here tonight. You are here tonight. There's going to be a connection between you and the Lord Jesus Christ. Connection between you and the Savior. Connection between you and the healer. Connection between you and the miracle worker. Amen. Amen. Alpha location. Amen. Amen. Father, we know you are here. Son, Savior, Redeemer, Deliverer, we know you are here. Holy Ghost, we know you are here and we are here for you. We pray tonight, nobody will miss the divine encounter. The divine connection with the God, the worker of miracles. Accomplish it in every life. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You can see that the blessing of the Lord. Tonight again, I bring a story. And the Bible says, all these things are written for our learning. That we, through the comfort and the confidence and the power and the patience and the perseverance of the scriptures, might have hope. As we read all this and we see what God did and what God is doing today, everyone has the hope that if it happened to others, it will happen to me it will happen to you let me read the story to you it's in mark chapter 7 reading from verse 25 for a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit had of him and came and fell at his feet the verbs there a verb is a word of action Heard, came, fell at his feet. You understand? When you come to the Lord, you cannot stay passive, folding your hand, folding, closing your mouth, closing your eyes. You come because of what you have heard. He saved others, you've heard. He delivered others, you have heard. He helped others, you have heard. He did miracles for others, you have heard. Because of that, you take action. You come. And as you come, you bench before him. You bow before him. You fall at his feet. You own him as your Lord, as your Savior, as your Redeemer. Look at verse 26. It says, the woman was a Greek, a Gentile, a Syrophoenician by nation, not an Israelite. You understand? God is for everyone. Those on the right, those on the left, those within the fence, those outside the fence, God is for everyone. The black, the white, the brown, the yellow, the old, the young is for everyone. And wherever you are coming from, and whoever you are today, the Lord is for you. His miracle is for you. His power is for you. We're told that she besought him she pleaded with him she asked him that he christ he the son of god he the lord of lords and the king of kings will cast forth the devil out of her daughter look at verse 27 verse 27 but jesus said unto her let the children first let the children first let the children first be filled what does that mean christ came for the world no doubt 
behold the lamb of god that taketh away the sin of the world he came for the world christ came for the world for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever in the wide world whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life eternal life why then did he say let the children first be filled when you enter into any community you enter at the gate when you enter to any house you enter at the door and when christ entered into the world he entered through nazareth israel the nation of israel when you enter at the door all those who are at the door all those that open the door and then you get into the house those at the door will have the first benefit and so he said yes i've come for the world yes i've come for the gentiles and the jews but i came through the door of israel and the children of abraham and the people at the door and the people that were in the nation that saw the door open he said let the children first be filled for it is not right it is not suitable it is not me to take the children's bread and cast it onto the dogs well if you have dogs you don't starve them you feed them you take care of them you have a child you have a dog you take care of the child first and then you take care of the dog everybody will have their portion everybody will have their inheritance but he serves the children first by which he meant that the pharisees the sadducees the israelites the men the worshippers at the synagogue everyone will first be filled how i wished that those pharisees those sadducees and those israelites how i wish that they knew the lord had something for them and of course he had something for the gentiles too and so in verse 28 the woman she answered and said unto him yes lord is that not the entrance of miracle in any life yes lord come yes lord look at me look unto the lord all ye the ends of the earth yes lord turn away from your sin yes lord believe on the lord jesus christ and thou shalt be saved yes lord the beginning of miracle in any life is when you say no to the devil no to your past and no to all your tradition and you say yes unto the lord yes lord yes the dogs under the table each of the children's crumbs the dogs under the table that is the people who are not worthy to sit on the chair to sit at the same level with those israelites yes lord even the dogs that do not have the same position and the same calling and the same seat they also eat of the crumbs falling from them uh, falling uh, from the children's crumbs look at verse 29 in verse 29 and he said unto her and he said 
unto her christ the savior the lord said unto her for this saying what you say matters a lot before the lord for this saying what do people say before the lord some people say i am not a christian what blessing will that bring to you some people say i'm not a worshiper of christ what blessing will that bring to you some people say i am an outsider i don't belong to the inner circle what blessing will that bring unto you say what the lord will affirm will approve will confirm in your life for they saying go thy way the devil is gone out of thy daughter amen look at Vastachi in Vastachi and when she was come to her house she found the devil gone out Jesus said go your way the devil has gone out Jesus didn't go there to the house he spoke the word it was a word of revelation it was a word of demonstration it was a word that brought heaven's manifestation upon that house be watching for the word and be listening to the word he said the devil is gone out word of revelation word of manifestation word of demonstration and when she got home she found that the devil was gone out of her and laid upon the bed the Lord will speak that word of revelation to you today. He'll speak that word of demonstration, manifestation to your life tonight in Jesus' name. Now that is the story. What's the title of the message? Miracle Bread of Healing and Deliverance for Us All. Jesus called the miracle that the woman was asking for called that bread children's bread he called the healing the children's bread he called the deliverance the children's bread he called the miracle the children's bread miracle bread of healing and deliverance for us all for you tonight Amen. i said for you tonight Amen. say yes lord yes lord let me let, let me divide the story and then i'll bring the story back together for you and miracle will come upon your life tonight in jesus name three things one two three number one the bread of healing and deliverance by faith the bread of healing and deliverance by faith number two is the birthright of the household and the dependence in the family the birthright of all the children of israel it was the birthright of the household of the children of israel and for all their dependence in the family number two then is the birthright the birthright for the household for the dependence in the family number three the blessing for hearers and doers in fullness the people that hear and the people that do go thy way lord i cannot go uh -uh. go thy way lord i saw that painful situation and i saw the vexation and i cannot go back home and see that anymore go to thy house and she obeyed in the hearer and the doer that said the lord said i am healed i am healed the lord said i am delivered i am delivered the lord said everything is all right now in my home in my house i should go back home and i will see that miracle and that deliverance i accept i 
believe and the fellow as she did what the lord has said the blessing for hearers and doers in a fullness let's come to number one number one we're looking at the bridge of healing and deliverance by faith the bridge of healing and deliverance by faith in matthew chapter 15 matthew records this the same miracle and you might wonder why the details now you understand matthew was a bookkeeper and he used to keep all the all the all the details of the taxes and the collections and the names and everything and the addresses and he dotted every i and he crossed every t and he gave us the details that mark just simply said the woman came and the woman besought the lord and the woman received from the lord now matthew is going to give us the detail to show us that bread here is the bread of healing and it's the bread of deliverance and we receive everything by faith then jesus went this and departed into the coast of tyre and sidon in verse 22 verse 22 and behold a woman of canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him saying have mercy on me he said she said have mercy on me why because i have no marriage because i'm just a gentle because i'm just a descendant of adam because i've lived a life that is not worth any blessing from heaven and i know that when you come to the lord and you understand there is no marriage there's no money you can pay and there is nothing you can give before the lord and all you depend upon is the mercy of god the miracle of mercy is coming your way tonight saying have mercy on me O lord but she still called him lord i am a gentile i'm coming from a gentile territory of traditions but i've decided tradition will not be my lord i'm coming from a region of idolatry i've decided idolatry will not be my lord i've come i'm coming from my forefathers forefathers and those forefathers they established this religion in that village and that in that other village i come to you they cannot help me they cannot lift me up they cannot change or transform my situation and now i say to jesus oh my lord when you come and you surrender your heart and you surrender your past and you surrender all that tradition and you surrender all the evil past you have been informed with and you say now lord you are my lord what you desire is what i want your will is what i bow to and everything you tell me now i'm going to be you as my lord and tonight i'll give you that chance to receive the lord to accept the lord as your savior and your lord he said oh lord thou son of david the woman she said don't think i'm just a gentle that i don't know the will of god the plan of god and the only way the avenue by which mercy will come god has ordained and god has decreed that jesus christ will be the son of david and through that son of david salvation will come forgiveness will come freedom will come the blessings of heaven will come and so she keyed into that that son of david my daughter you know what she has done first she honored the lord first 
and she owned the lord first she accepted the lord first she affirmed the decree of heaven first lord son of david now before she brought her request as we come today that's why we don't rush into you want to be healed raise up your hand we want to have him as our lord first as the son of david as the savior as the one that paid for every sin we ever committed we give attention to that force and now that he is my lord now that he is my savior i can bring my request i want to be healed i can bring my request i want my son my daughter to be delivered i want to be free from all the chains and all the shackles of the devil my daughter is grievously vexed with a devil verse 23 it says but he answered her not a word and his disciples came and besought him saying send her away disciples why would they say that they were israelites some israelites israel of god children of god they are so nationalistic and they base that on half a sentence that they had before what's the half of the sentence go not the way of the gentiles but go to the children of israel they held on to that they didn't wait for the revelation go into all the world and preach the good news the gospel to every creature every creature on the the son everyone but they held on to go to the israelites that was just the first step then the second step will come and then the final universal step will come so they said send her away for she cries after us verse 24 in verse 24 and he answered and said i am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of israel full stop no that's a command because all the sheep i have which are not of this fold them other sheep gentiles other sheep coming from outside the territory of israel them i must bring there is a must that the gentiles will come because the prophecy says that the gentiles will trust in his name verse 25 in verse 25 then came she and worshipped him think about that a person that has heard and that has known registered in the heart that i met jesus i'm meeting jesus today and my salvation is guaranteed and whatever i hear whatever i see whatever i feel i'm having salvation tonight i'm having healing tonight i'm having deliverance tonight with all that she heard she drew near she was there before and she was talking at a distance and when jesus spoke and the disciples spoke he drew near and she said lord he said jesus do you know how often i'm calling you lord i make you the master of my life i make you the controller of my life and i still say now you are my lord when you do that and you decide in your heart that jesus will be your lord he'll be your master no other master will control your life and you make him lord you say it with your mouth you believe it in your heart you act it out you come to him and you're not going to any other 
help will come tonight help will come help has come as you own him lord tonight lord help me verse 26 and he answered and said it is not meat to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs yes lord she said you are my lord the the gentiles did not have the law of moses a principle to walk by a lifestyle to live from the other from heaven and so they lived like dogs dogs don't have any law any principle any direction any control whatever they wanted to do in the public they did whatever they felt like doing they did because they were gentiles they were dogs and those dogs whatever their flesh desired that was what they did have you seen those dogs out there no shame no shyness nothing no intimidation even adultery dogs don't have that vocabulary fornication dogs don't have that vocabulary back in and being violent and fighting over a bone dogs don't have vocabulary like that and so the gentiles did they broke every law in the book they committed gentiles committed adultery they committed fornication they fought they were violent they were evil they were dirty they never washed nothing took their stain or took their defilement away and jesus instead of going to too many words about gentiles just said woman it's not right to give the children's bread and give that to the dogs and the woman did not argue when god calls you a sinner no argument what are we all have sinned and come short of the glory of god when god calls you a transgressor how can you argue because everyone has transgressed the word and the law of the lord and so the woman said look at verse 27 in verse 27 and she said truth lord you are a sinner truth lord you're just a dog true lord you have defiled your life with immorality truth lord you know there are people that will key that will give excuses they want to save their faces and they want to say i'm better than so and so i'm better than such and such but the woman said truth lord and yet she didn't stop there she said sinners sinner i am that's why i come to the savior powerless i come that's why i come to the power that comes from heaven she says yes evil i am that's why i come to the one that will set me free when you come like that and you understand your nature your life your disposition your behavior your character makes you not a heavenly perfect righteous man or woman but a sinner and you come like that the forgiveness of the lord will come to you that's why he gives the forgiveness that's why he gives the freedom that's why he gives the salvation it brings the salvation to the people who will accept who will confess 
who will bow before the Lord and take him as Savior and as Lord. Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Their master's table. Am I a dog? I accept you now as my master. At the control, the director of my life. At the one that will now show me the way. Because you are the way, the truth, and the life. I come to the Father through this express way that come that goes to god look at verse 28 in verse 28 then jesus answered and said unto her O woman great is thy faith great is thy faith i wish my faith were great yes it's great when you come great faith when you stay great faith when you abide great faith when you own him accept him as your lord and your master and your savior and you say he will be my only savior that's a great faith that's how she manifested and she wasn't discouraged she didn't go back she didn't allow anything on the face of the earth anything that anybody said did not allow anything to drive her back she kept on saying yes lord you're still my lord i hear that you're still my lord i hear that you're still my master and then jesus said be it unto thee even as thou wilt and her daughter was made whole from that very hour this is your hour this is my hour hour of forgiveness hour of transformation hour of him the christ becoming your lord and your savior and the master and the controller and the director of your life that same hour the forgiveness came the freedom came the deliverance came and your salvation has come we're looking at number two number two here is the birth right of the household and the dependence in the family the birth right understand the bread is for the children the children in the family the members of the family and so you can come because you have a birthright you have a redemption right you have this salutary right you have the right to possess and to have everything christ died for and paid for on the cross of calvary the right we have right of possession right of taking the promise right of having the promise and having that as ours everything christ died for on the cross of calvary you have the right to claim you have the right to possess everything image available on the cross of calvary forgiveness forgive them father for they know not what they do who are the them the jews and the gentiles all the people that were responsible and us too because it's our sin that nailed him to the cross and because he purchased forgiveness salvation on the cross of calvary that be, that becomes your birthright healing by his stripes we are healed and because already he bore the stripes and he has given us the healing as our right everything he did for everyone on earth when he was on earth everything now is made 
our birthright and is the birthright for the whole household and for the dependents in the family look at mark chapter 7 and i'm reading from verse 25 mark chapter 7 verse 25 for a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and came i can't get over that and came the people that come what are we going to do you're thirsty and the water is there but you don't come what are we going to do you're hungry the food is there but you don't come it's the people that come the people that come to the savior to be saved the people that come to the redeemer to be redeemed the people that come to the deliverer to be delivered and she came and fell at his feet she surrendered and she said these knees will never bow to any other lord and to any oppressor and to anyone that will drag her to the shrine and worship any other one but the god of heaven and then we're told in verse 26 in verse 26 the woman was a greek a gentle a syrophoenician by nation and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter uh, you must tell him where you have come you must tell him what you expect you will not say he is god he is lord he is the son of david okay he will know what i want tell him healing tell him deliverance tell him salvation tell him forgiveness tell him freedom from guilt and condemnation tell him you must tell him tell the lord when you came what you want you want a place in heaven tell him you want to be a child of god tell him and she told the lord that the lord will cast forth the devil out of her daughter look at verse 27 verse 27 but jesus said unto her let the children be filled first woman you are asking for the children's bread the birthright of the children that's what you're asking for the right that is given to the people that god recognizes that's my son that's my daughter and because if the heavenly father give us this day our daily bread all our need all the provision of heaven everything the father provides for the children the healing the freedom the inheritance everything the father provides for his children that's what i came for and now how do i have that it's a dog and what you are asking for is the birthright of the children there's only one way to do that except you be converted and become as little children that to say you can change me you can change my nature you can change my appearance you can change my mental mindset you can change everything and make me to be not a dog but a child and as many as received him to them he gave power to become they were not in the past to become the sons of god all that believe on his name and today you can have faith in that christ faith in that savior faith in that redeemer and your believing on him will make you you'll not remain 
a sinner anymore you become a son a daughter of god in jesus name and so she accepted that and eventually she became a child of god and she had the birthright the birthright it's one thing to have the birthright it's another thing to keep that birthright the story of esau and jacob tells us you can have the birthright and not hold on to the birthright you can sell the birthright because we're told the story of esau he came back home one day he was hungry now he was a hunter and he could have prepared food for himself he could have had some what we call self reliance at that time but he will not he'll rather go to the person that i is birthright and he said give me of your red pottage and jacob said one condition you'll sell your birthright to me and then i can give you all the red pottage you want and he said that's all right with me there are people that do not value their birthright the title to heaven the ticket to heaven the presence of god in their heart the provision of the lord in their lives and because of the need of the hour they sell their birthright we can talk about reuben reuben for god after he had a feeling an emotion a desire a dirty desire and then he didn't think of his birthright and went and did that dirty thing and the father said Reuben you know what that momentary enjoyment of sin made you to lose the birthright and the birthright was transferred unto Joseph the Lord is telling us that when you come in the household of faith, you come to the family of God, you're saved, you're born again. Keep that birthright. The healing, that's your birthright. The deliverance, that's your birthright. And the miracle, that's your birthright. And as you wait upon the Lord and you say, nothing will take my birthright from me you will keep the birthright to the end in jesus name amen we're coming to number three now remember remember this woman that came to the lord he accepted him as lord he owned him as lord he surrendered his life to him as lord and because he accepted him and owned him as lord everything changed he now crossed she now crossed over to the family and the household of faith and jesus said great is your faith and what she was asking for the children's bread the healing the deliverance and he, she was asking for the freedom uh, from the dominion of the negative evil power on the life of her daughter and she got that you will get that tonight i said you will get that tonight the bread the birthright now the blessing for hearers and doers in fullness hear us and do us in fullness what does that mean i hear he said i did not come to call the religious supposedly righteous people i came to call sinners to repentance and he said repent ye therefore and believe the gospel i hear that i do that come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy lady in and i will give you rest i hear that and uh, i 
due age anyone that hears my word and he does it i will liken him to the man that built his house upon the rock and then the storm will come and the winds will blow upon that house and it will stand firm because it was built on the firm foundation of hearing and doing look at james chapter 1 verse 21 wherefore lay a patch all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul receive the word the word of repentance the word of faith in the lord and it says it's that word of repentance when you hear and you do that is able to save your soul verse 22 in verse 22 it says but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only be ye doers of the word and not hearers only when you do when you practice when you say yes lord i'm going to do what you have commanded then the blessing of the hearers and the doers will come upon your life amen, amen. exodus chapter 15 verse 26 and said if thou wilt diligently hear hearken to the voice of the lord thy god will hear and will do that which is right in his sight will hear will do repent i hear i do turn around i hear i do believe on the lord jesus christ i hear I do take him as your Lord and your master now at this time I hear I do if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear and give heart and give your mind and give your attention to that which he has commanded you and keep all his statutes i will put none of these diseases upon thee which have brought upon those other people for i am the lord that healeth thee any amen there it will heal your soul it will heal your heart it will heal all the breaches in your life it will take all the condemnation away it will take all the guilt away it said it will heal you your inner man it will heal you your outward man it will heal your body it will heal your soul it will heal your memory and all the things of the past that trouble you and traumatize your life healing inside healing outside healing in the inner man healing in the outer man has come to you today your forgiveness has come i said your forgiveness has come your salvation has come the father sent it from heaven through the lord jesus christ as savior and lord and now is for you to say yes lord i receive i accept i believe and that forgiveness salvation is now mine and also the healing the deliverance came to that woman and you are the man you are the woman for miracle tonight in jesus name amen it's about and eyes closed the lord has brought 
that birthright, the bread of the children, the forgiveness, the freedom, the salvation, the blessing. He has brought it to you tonight, wherever you are. And you want not to remain a dog, a sinner, a profligate, an evil person, a dirty personality. You want a change, a transformation to become a child of God, to become a saved soul, and to become a person that carries the forgiveness and the freedom of the Lord with him or with her. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand, you say, Lord, I accept you as my Lord today. I believe you are my Lord today. You are my Savior today. And I believe your power and the power in the blood of the Lamb can so wash me and cleanse me and change me completely tonight. Raise up that hand. If you are raising up your hand, God bless you. Take the next step and rise up. Rise up and say, Lord, I come. You see, that woman came publicly. She didn't go private. Okay, I'll do it when I get home. She did it publicly. And here the Lord is calling on you. That if you want the freedom, the forgiveness, the salvation, the redemption publicly here, you stand up and say, I declare Christ is my Savior and my Lord. Stand up, he's waiting for you. Stand up, the freedom is now coming. Stand up, the salvation, freedom comes to you right now. God bless you. Tell the Lord why you are standing. I declare you as my Lord. I declare you as my Savior. Sin will not reign in my life anymore. Evil will not reign in my life anymore. I surrender myself totally. Without any reservation, I surrender myself to you now. Lord, save me. And I believe your salvation comes to me right now. Keep on standing and keep your hand raised up. Let no thought, let nothing the disciples say, anyone says, hinder you. Your salvation is now. Amen. Keep that hand up. I'm praying for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you because whosoever comes to you through Christ, your Son, our Savior and Lord, you will in no wise reject. And Lord, these ones who have come with their whole heart, their whole mind, and they leave all their sins behind, and they own Christ as Savior, and Lord, let your grace come into their lives now. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Amen. Take away the penalty, the punishment of their sin in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray that the peace, the joy of salvation, and the strength and the power to go forth and live in newness of life grant unto every one of them in jesus name and let your spirit be a witness with their heart they are now children of god a conversion has taken place they're no more the dirty the defiled 
and the sinful people they were in the past forgiveness freedom cleansing washing has come they now by faith become children of god in jesus name confirm it in every heart in jesus name we pray a good good amen the final amen there amen. god bless you keep on standing our counselors are over there and they reach you now and tell you uh, what to feel on those forms they're giving you and those online you see the number there and you see uh, you know what you are to what what you are to click and the form will come out and you feel that because now you are a converted transformed child of god i call on our overseer to take over this counseling session before we come back to pray for those who have uh, challenges they need healing deliverance and miracle god bless you so thank you very much all our counselors please very quickly but thoroughly so let's uh, attend to all our new brothers and sisters Fill in all your details, your full name, your phone numbers, the correct digits, and hand over the slip to our counselors. Please, all our counselors, let's say, uh, go everywhere and uh, attend to all our brethren. You are welcome into the family of God. You have got your birthright. Keep it as the Lord has brought you in. All our counselors, please, very quickly, let's go to everywhere, the pavilion there, here on the ground. So they fill in all the details. All the, your address, where you stay, correctly, write in capital letter, so we can see how to help you further. And all over the globe, as the word of God has come to you there, let's do the same in all the locations. If you are watching privately there, follow all the details on the screen. Fill in the form, submit it online, it will reach to us. We we'll see how to fellowship with you. This is the best decision you have taken. So the rest of us, we are getting ready for the blessings of God tonight. The blessings for hear us and do us in fullness. We don't want to miss that as they are turning to our brethren. So where you are there in the privacy of your heart, you are telling the Lord that tonight the Lord will bless you. So be praying and ask the Lord, have faith in God. The Lord will bless everyone. Please all our counselors all over, let's quickly do that now. And once you are done, in any section, you signify to us here, so we know that uh, you are through. Our Father in the Lord is coming back to pray. And all our challenges, disease, sickness there will not remain. Have faith in God. As you have heard the word of God, believe and receive. Please, all our counselors, let's do that. And uh, all our new brothers and sisters please the those online you are watching online so you are listening to rate to the radio in zambia here please the number the whatsapp number is zero nine five five seven seven eight nine six zero so write down the number and send your details to that number zero nine five five seven seven eight nine six zero so wherever you are it's a whatsapp number so if you are listening on radio you can send your information to that number 
Please, our counselors, let's do it fast. Don't leave out anyone. Get all the correct details. Once you are done, please signify to us here. Raise up your flag or something that you can see from here so we know that uh, we are through. Please, the rest of us, uh, the Lord is ready for us tonight. And great things the Lord will do for you. But believe, tell the Lord. So we've been told in the word of God, don't keep quiet. Say the Lord knows, tell him. And as the man of God comes to confirm the word of God with signs following tonight, you will receive your miracle. Please, all our counselors, let's uh, quickly attend to all the converts, young and old, boys and girls, men and women, all over this uh, Alpha location. And in your locations where you are, all over Africa, beyond Africa, privately there in your home, in your house, please say you have given love to the Lord Jesus Christ, send your information to us. The number is on the screen, or the form, you can click and fill the form. If you are listening over the radio, the WhatsApp number is 0955778960. Our counselors, if we are done, please signify, so we will know that you are through. Up there on my right, up there on my left, and here on the ground. Talk to the Lord as you are waiting. Wait in faith. Come to the Lord in faith. As the man of God is coming very soon to confirm the word of God with signs following. It's for all of us. It's for you. It's for me. You shouldn't miss your portion. Please cancel us. Are we through here? God bless you. On, the, on my left, up there, if you are through, please indicate. Signifies that I will, I will see you. On my right, up there, the pavilion, our counselors, the leaders, please, once they are done, let me see your flag or wave your hand at me so we can see you. Those who have come in the kingdom, keep your birthright. The Lord will keep you. Those watching or listening to the radio all over Zambia, so the number I gave, the WhatsApp number, is locally here, in our nation here. 09577 eight nine six zero please send your information to that whatsapp number and those watching online all over the globe or listening to the radio so the number internationally that you can send your information is plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two Six three. Once again, the number for the international audience plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Counselors, are we set? On my right, I didn't see any signal. Okay, God bless you there. In the middle there, are we through? Let me see the signal. You can flash the light or indicate so I can see you. God bless you. I see you there.
Believe the Lord tonight, you will not miss your portion. Thank you very much. Please, let's rise up. Let's rise up now as we receive the man of God. As he prays tonight, your power, your blessings, you receive. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. What miracle. God bless you. What healing. God bless you. What deliverance. All you need is come to him. She calls him Lord. Surrendered. Submitted. Gave herself under control and directives. Lord. And she said, have mercy on me. No marriage. Just the mercy of the Lord. And the miracle of mercy is coming to you tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. The Lord did not even touch her. And she did not physically touch the Lord. All she did was to bench before his authority. And to hear the word that Christ had spoken. And the Lord said, go thy way. The devil is gone out of your daughter. She held unto that. She accepted that. She believed that. And when she got home, it was exactly as the Lord had said. Today, after the final amen, you'll discover it has happened as the Lord has said. Blind eyes will open. The dumb tongue will speak out. The deaf ear will be unstopped. And that paralyzed weak leg will get strength. You rise up and walk today after the final amen in Jesus name. Whatever the need, raise up your hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. It shall be even as he has said. We're praying now. And after the final amen, you check yourself. You'll do what you've not been able to do before. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the name that cannot fail. The name that has power on earth and in heaven. Lord, we come to you on behalf of everyone. Asking for healing. Asking for deliverance. Asking for miracle. Do it for everyone in Jesus' name. That tormenting spirit, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. Insanity, brain problem, I command, you are delivered in Jesus' name. The swelling of the head, the goiter, the hunchback, the hernia, the elephantiasis dissolve right now. Every swelling vanish away in Jesus' name. Over here, online, everywhere, that this decree of faith comes now. Let there be healing. Let there be miracle. Let there be power manifestation in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that those blind eyes come wide open and see clearly now in Jesus' name. The deaf and the dumb receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Pain anywhere in your body right now. At this moment of miracle, pain vanish away in Jesus' name. Internal problem, internal bleeding, 
internal wound the hand of the lord supernaturally is upon you right now yeah. be healed in jesus name yeah. cancer at any level i issue the word of authority cancer be healed in jesus name yeah. also be healed in jesus name yeah. tuberculosis or hiv be healed in jesus name yeah. those who have stroke or paralyzed or polio i pray the power of the lord will come upon you right now yeah. power in your bone power in your joints power everywhere in your body rise up and walk in jesus name miracle of every kind healing of every kind deliverance of every kind come upon everyone looking up to you now in jesus name here miracle there over the radio miracle there over the television miracle there online everywhere every nation miracle now lord let there be confirmation everywhere now thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord in jesus name we pray the Lord has done it. Check up, check up, check up. What you are not able to do now, you can do. Your miracle is right there with you.